welcome back to my channel i guess it's been a while i would like to apologize for that because i've been working on a new series and i'd like to welcome you to this very much new and exciting probably series that i'm working on and this is gonna be the first episode it's gonna be called project replica uh now the concept of project replica is basically that i'm trying to replicate some landmarks of the world of the world sorry so some landmarks from around the world so uh we're actually gonna be working on sydney opera house as you may have known from the thumbnail and the title uh so my concept of project replica is that project replica will be uh it's gonna be a very it's like a so if you think of it think of a maybe uh sorry for that uh maybe some tv show i guess or a netflix series or something uh so project replica will be the name of the show uh and then this series the first series right here will be project opera house or project sydney opera house one of the two uh so yeah welcome back welcome to project replica or project uh sydney opera house as this one is uh we'll be working on sydney opera house there of course uh and yeah this is gonna be very much exciting uh, I do want to say a few things. I'm not from Australia. I'm not Australian. I've been to Australia. I've Ladies and gentlemen, please fasten your seat belt and draw up your window shades for landing. been to Sydney Opera House. Uh, I've been to Sydney. I've stayed in Sydney for three days or something. Uh, doesn't mean that I'm qualified to replicate everything. Like I'll do my best using Google Earth and resource other resources that are available. Uh, so yeah, I'll be utilizing pretty much Google Maps for almost everything. Uh, but yeah, in today's episode, we'll be doing some terraforming work. Uh, and also we'll be focusing more on some of the details in Sydney, the Sydney Opera House itself. Now we'll be plopping down the Sydney Harbour Bridge as well. Uh, one thing that I do know that, that I actually do like, I like Sydney. I don't know, the first time I went there, I think to myself that, I don't know, maybe sometime I'll try to stay there for a month or two or something, I don't know. Maybe, like hopefully, but I don't think that's going to be possible in the near future because of this pandemic, which is pretty unfortunate, but that's the truth. So yeah, uh, I believe I had a two-year visa, a two-year visitor's visa or something. I don't know, I don't know what you guys call them. Uh, I went there, I believe last year I went there, I think, if not last year, two years ago. I believe it was last year. Uh, I believe it was last year. Or two years ago. Yeah, one of the two. So the visa is still f valid, but I don't think... I, I think Australia is not allowing any foreigners to come in. I don't think they have opened their borders due to the pandemic. So yeah. I have taken some pictures of the Sydney Opera House itself. Uh, if you follow me on in, in Instagram, then you will know that I have posted a few pictures of Sydney Opera House. Uh, so maybe if you haven't seen them then you can maybe head on over but yeah uh, but if you're hearing some bird noises or other noises those are out of my control and I, I'd like to apologize for that one as well uh, but anyway I can I hope you can still enjoy this episode I believe this is a very exciting one I guess I don't know I, I 
I don't know, so as I've mentioned earlier, I do really like this. I do really like Sydney. I like Australia. Oh, the phone's ringing. Anyway, back from the phone. Uh, don't think it was pretty important, but yeah, whatever. Disturbances. But anyway, uh, I'll be actually there will be some different things about this series other than my older series like Kakota or maybe the older ones like Project uh, The City of Heroes. If you do know that series, then good. You've been following me for some time. Uh, that series was actually pretty successful, but yeah, Kakota is actually pretty successful, and I'd like to thank you for enjoying that one i guess if you haven't and if you're a newcomer then you can totally uh go ahead and watch that one after this one uh that one's based on indonesia since i'm actually from indonesia and australia as i've mentioned earlier um and also uh sorry about that uh my teacher just texted me for some stuff but yeah anyway uh going back into city skylines this series is gonna be pretty different from my last series, just Kakota. Uh, the differences will be around the project it's itself. It's gonna be based on this one's when this one's based on Sydney, right? Yeah, and Kakota is based on Indonesia. But the main one, the main difference is that I'm gonna be explaining what I'm doing more and the techniques that I'm doing to try and replicate as close as possible. Uh, since I've mentioned earlier that I'm actually using Google Earth for my references. Uh, there will be some sort of thing where I'll explain what I'm doing and why I'm doing that and how I'm doing that. Uh, I'll be mostly using that this episode on when I'm uh, furnishing or when I'm putting down the benches and lamps and bollards of Sydney Opera House. So that's still a little bit down the road. But yes, anyway. Um, oh, well. I've, I did encounter a little bit of terrain problem right here, right here when I'm plopping decals. Uh, the decals actually pop through, or the ground actually pops up through the decals, just, which was actually pretty confusing. Now it turns out that uh, I had to re-terraform the sea or the area, the watery area. Uh, but also, I'd like to mention that I'm this project. I, I'd like to say that this project is not gonna be a very big project. It might only have less than ten episodes, even uh, maybe six, maybe seven. One of those. Uh, reason being is that I'm actually gonna be focusing on the Sydney Opera House itself more than the city of Sydney. So the Opera House will be. It's sort of like Springwood. I I uh, Springwood from two dollars twenty. I remember him him saying uh, the details er the detailed area are only the ones where people are probably gonna see so there will not be that much details on the city itself I will only be making a little like I'll only replicate just a tiny circle in Sydney probably not that big it's not gonna be a very big project so don't get your hopes high up the reason I'm doing this is because my PC specs are actually very much barely reaching the minimum therefore I'm not really I don't think I can really replicate the whole city of Sydney uh, so that's why and also another thing I'd like to point out yes I might have made a few mistakes on the terraforming at the beginning of the episode uh, when I was terraforming that at that point I didn't know I didn't know that Sydney was actually pretty hilly I guess it's it has very much it's it has very many uh, levels of terrain so I did not realize that but now I have realized that and so uh, you know I'm not gonna be terraforming that much and also the map that I'm using is not a one to one scale but the bridge and the Sydney Opera House itself is gonna be on one to one scale so there is gonna be very much a scale problem I'm not looking forward to fix fixing that but I know that I'll have to somehow because if not then it's just gonna be out of scale and yeah, it's not gonna be that good. But yeah, scaling problems. Uh, what else? Scaling problems. Maybe PC specs problems and stuff like that. There's gonna be many challenges on the way, but I'm certain that we'll be able to get through it, possibly. Uh, but anyway, again, don't get your hopes high up since this is not gonna be a very big series, I don't think. Anyway, uh, I do... I still look forward for your support, I guess. Thank you very much for all of the support from previous series. And also, another thing that I'd like to mention is that Kakota isn't going anywhere. 
it's just on hold for a few weeks probably i just need to get a fresh mindset i don't really want to work on only one series for a few months even though i've been doing that uh, i believe it's on episode 13 or 12 uh, 13 i think uh, we worked on the hospital last time uh, but i just wanted a new fresh a fresh and new kind of project but anyway right here i'm blowing down the benches i'd like to explain this uh, so since that these benches are not the actual benches from sydney Opera house itself these are vanilla uh, vanilla benches i went and measured so you can see in google earth there are these benches uh, and i went and measured measured it with uh pointing out maybe where should I put it down on Google Earth so I'll sort of measure it so you can see right here you can see that there's the canopy and I just line it up and then there's the pillars over there and I see oh it's on the third pillar so I'm just gonna put it down right there and stuff like that and also goes for the bollards uh, for the bollards which I'm still gonna do later on you can see right there on Google Earth that those are the bollards and there's, there are also the lamps that I'm gonna do the same technique with but I'm putting down the benches first because it's less complicated uh, actually the bollards are way less complicated than the benches but I went, I went for the benches instead because I didn't really think of the bollards until I realized that there are bollards which is something so yeah uh, right now I'm just putting them forward because if you, if you can see on the Google Earth uh, it's actually pretty close to the edge of the key so yeah moving that forward to make it look more realistic uh, right now i'm putting down the bollards as you can see the bollards are actually very much very much very much very much very 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 similar to the one that you can see on google earth street views you can see right here and right now i'm just putting it down uh, again i'm referencing it on google earth you can see that it's this side to the pillar so i'm trying to put it down on that side of the pillar in game so that's how wow, how i'm doing things uh so yeah uh, there are also these lamps uh, that also very much looks like the one that existed in real life. The way I'm doing the lamps is that you can see the lamps right here in Google Earth. Very much, very many. Uh, I plopped down two, so I only measured two. And then I tried to use PLT or prop line tool to actually sort of uh, measure the distance. On Google Earth, it's something like nine meters apart, but I saw that over here in game that it's actually around eight point one meters or something like that it's pretty different but it's good enough for me good enough for my standards so as you can see it's probably pretty close uh but that's that for that side of the uh so that's it for the furnishing for that side of sydney opera house now moving on forward to this side the front side or the back whatever uh so one thing that i've noticed from google earth is that there's actually a little pier over here near the bench right here over here to the left right here to the downside yeah right here there's always supposed to be a little stair to it if you go to street view the stairs actually blocked off so i don't know i don't think i can replicate that to see the skyline so i apologize for that uh so yeah i didn't include that in made for some pretty difficult uh choices i guess i guess i have no idea what i should do because i cannot really do the stairs and stuff like that so yeah but anyway uh right now i'm pretty much struggling with this side of the key kwai kukui key yeah that again not from an english speaking country so yes uh but whatever uh, right now i'm putting down roads underwater i actually got this technique also from 2020 uh marble mountain uh from the pier i don't know if the pier is still here i haven't been following up sorry but anyway i remember that he did some piers and the piers are actually industrial warehouses and he put down roads under them so that the terrain will not conform to the buildings you're looking for the roads instead that was a very much very much cool and smart technique thank you to dollar 20 for giving me that inspiration but whatever all right so right now i'm putting down i'm gonna be detailing this part but this part is not be, gonna be done with the details in this episode uh, i want to keep it short but anyway i'm gonna be mainly putting down uh what do you call this lamps 
and benches well not benches only one bench because yes uh -huh. uh, this side is actually pretty confusing because if you see in google earth uh, there's actually a construction site on this side of the key but if you go to street view then it's a cafe of some sort i don't know uh so yeah i'm not sure about what to do over here so that's why i didn't know what to do over here but yeah anyway right here right here i realized that i made a mistake uh the, the key on this side of the sydney opera house is actually very narrow very much ner more narrow or narrower from the other side so i decided to fix that up and make it pretty much narrower or more narrow one of the two yeah uh so that's that i do think that this project is gonna be very much very 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 fun but anyway you can see that i fixed it up so it has that kind of shape to it. it's not just a straight key on this side uh, it's gonna be it has some turns as it's supposed to be on this side of the sydney upper house so yeah the key is now fixed on this side but yeah anyway uh, i'd also like to talk about some difficulties i guess uh, if you're from sydney maybe you want to hit me up with some dms or maybe you just Send me some pictures of the Sydney Opera House if you're able because I'm not sure if you're able but anyway uh, I'd like to know because I n I know about this because uh, I've been to Sydney Opera House and I've seen that under the stairs over in the front or in the back or whatever over on the other side there are some big stairs white stairs uh, so all I know is below that stair there's a parking small parking area and a road some sort of drop off area or something like that or a lobby uh there's that road but the road doesn't connect to any other road so my question is there's a roundabout right near this place uh and i'm moving on to the harbor bridge but whatever uh i know that there's a roundabout with a fountain near sydney opera house so my question is that are cars allowed to enter from the roundabout to the lobby slash parking area under the stairs over there or do cars just teleport in city skies or just or is there an underground tunnel that i haven't seen or something yes yeah I, I need to i need to know that because for now because I, I cannot know it i don't know which one's the answer i haven't actually moved on to work on that side unfortunately but anyway yes i'm pretty much quote unquote done no i'm not done for the signal house uh, I just plopped down the Sydney Harbour Bridge for the aesthetics, for the cinematics, and for the intro, if you can, as you can see earlier. Uh, but anyway, right now I'm just doing some terraforming work, terrain work, because uh, I need the key to be next to water, not inland, because key inland is pretty... Yeah, it's definitely not useful, uh, so yeah. Uh, so that's what I'm currently doing as uh, you can see the stairs over there in the top left over there yeah there's a hole right there that's supposed to be some sort of drop off or lobby area i guess with some parking i just need to know where cars enter because i'm very much i'm very 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 much confused i did sort of remember seeing a checkpoint or something near the fountain oh talking about the fountain i'm not gonna be working on that this episode but uh i've seen on google maps or google earth sorry that there's also a construction site now to be fair there's also there was also a construction site when i went there if i remember correctly if you go to street view it's actually not there but anyway this is the cinematic so anyway i hope you enjoyed this series i really do hope you do uh, if you do enjoy it then please do hit the subscribe button please do like the video and please do share this video to everyone you know that might be interested so yeah very much very much many thank you for you guys and for all of your support and i'll be back next week with another episode hopefully all right see ya then all right thank you very much